Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. If you're a fan of my channel, you know that I don't tend to do a lot of product reviews and I do even less weapons related product reviews. And there's a couple of reasons for that, but the big one is just that while I have some familiarity with firearms and weapons and things of that nature, there are a lot of people out online that know a lot more than I do, so you should really go to them. But despite that, there is something I want to share with you guys and I feel like I have some relevant experience to bring to the table on it. And it relates to this item which I was asked to review. This is made by Feachi and these are some night sights that go onto a Glock right here. This fits the uh, uh, the 1717 L, 19, 22, 23, 26, 27, 33, 34, 35, 38, and 39 Glocks, or so they claim. I've tried the 17 and the 39, and it fits those just fine. Uh, but you'll notice that it's not presently on any of my Glocks. Why is that? It's a, the reason is that I don't really care for this product. Now, when people send me a product, if I don't like it, I usually give them an option. You know, I don't want to penalize people for going out trying to get people's thoughts on things. So if I don't like something, Thing, I usually say, you know, I didn't care for it. I don't have to make a negative review about the product, um, you know, unless you guys want me to. And they wanted me to. They wanted me to share everything about this that I could with you guys, including the negative stuff. And I think that's credit to Feachi and all the people down there that they don't mind having some, you know, not 100% positive reviews about it. So what did I not like about this? First off, I'll say that they fit onto my um, 17 and my 39 just fine. Absolutely no problems there. So, why don't I like it? Here's the other part. But you know, I'm going to charge them up so you can see how bright they are. The little flashlight, you see? Plenty bright. No problems there. And it'll, they'll stay bright for a few minutes. So, no, no, no real problems with that. So, what is it about these that I don't really much care for? And what it is, isn't necessarily the product itself, but the entire idea of a product like this. Uh, there are a lot of night sights that, that work for Glocks that use a uh, radioactive material in the, the sights, and that makes the, the glow. These, as you saw, I had to charge up. Now, I'm no huge fan of radioactive material. It has a fairly uh, you know, negative uh, history with human health and everything, so the idea that this didn't have any radioactive material in it appealed to me. But what I dislike about it is this, and I, I've, I've got my... Uh, Weapon safe right here next to the bed. It's a V-line desk safe, and let's get the Glock out right there. Now that takes you know just a couple seconds to do. I guess I you know if it was a situation where somebody was intruding into the house, I would be a lot more uh, quiet than that. Um, and so, you know I try to do quietness tests now and then. Uh, but uh, one thing that I did not have to do when I took this out. After it was removed, I am ready to you know, move out and be really nervous and terrified and try to take care of whatever problem might be going on in the rest of the house. One thing that I didn't have to do was this, ruining my own night vision and lightening that up and making clicking noises and having light flood out into the hallway and everything. Uh, I didn't have to do any of that stuff. Now, if I had night sights, they had to be charged with a flashlight, I would be doing not only the extra step of having to grab the flashlight, making the noise, getting, you know, signaling lights going out into the hallway, you know, uh, possibly alerting somebody that they, you know, have alerted people. And I, I guess to some degree that might just scare them away right there. That might be good. But uh, you want to have that option of whether or not you're going to alert people uh, as to your awareness of them or not. And adding all this extra time, adding all these extra steps into a situation where you're already going to be really nervous and, uh, you know, having enough going on in your head without having to do all these uh, other things, I, it's for that reason that I just don't care for the product because it just adds extra steps into a situation that, in my, my opinion, doesn't need any extra steps. You know, just because there's a product or a, a gadget that's uh, available out there doesn't necessarily mean that it's improving the situation. Now, if you wanted to, you know, buy something like this and, and go and do like night shooting outside and under a controlled environment, absolutely no problem at all. That's great. You know, uh, it's not gonna be any issue. But for myself, where I'm using this primarily only, uh, you know, for a situation where there's a security uh, concern and, you know, needing, for home safety, to, to have it be quick and easy, and um, you know, avoiding you know making additional noise and things like that, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for me. Uh, and you know, 
for that reason, this, this product I don't think gets very high marks for this specific type of weapon. Because I think most of the time, you know, people are using Glocks for, you know, unless you're a police officer or something like that, people are using Glocks as a home defense weapon. Uh, and if every single time you go into your safe, you need to be doing all this flashing stuff, uh, I... It just doesn't seem like a really great idea to me. But I want to share it with you guys, share the idea of, you know, if you do see a gizmo or a gadget up there, think think through how you would actually use this. You know, what are all the steps? What are all the uh, the added implementations that you would need to, uh, you know, make happen in order to, to get the advantage out of this? Very frequently, uh, you know, that, that uh, implementation is, you know, extra energy use. If there's some new electronic gadget or something like that that you might be putting into your, uh, you know, into your home, you know, consider whether or not the, the extra costs, you know, the extra cost in time and noise and signaling and all that, or the extra costs in electri uh, electricity, energy, you know, uh, power expenditures, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's helpful to just kind of think about, you know, what are all the pros, what are all the cons, and think about whether in the end, if it really makes sense to have that gadget at all, because sometimes the best gadget is none at all. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.